Exciting times, exciting times. Oh, I almost forgot to say hey guys. So, hey guys. <laughs> in this video and the few upcoming videos, we'll be taking a break from the basics and we'll dive into the world of calculus in MATLAB. So here I've got 10 derivative problems that I'll differentiate using MATLAB. So I pretty much wrote every kind of derivative problem that I could think of, you know, from like a simple exponential derivative, like the first problem, all the way to trig, um, logarithms, natural logs, square roots, pretty much every kind of derivative that it's like out there. So um, in terms of derivatives, you'll be using the power rule, the quotient rule, um, the dreaded chain rule, you know, some nasty ones in here and um, trig derivatives, you know, just about everything. And my goal with this um, quick MATLAB tutorial playlist on YouTube is to keep everything under 10 minutes. And then we'll definitely go beyond that here. So I'm gonna chop this video into two sections. So problems one through five um, will differentiate in this video. And then six through 10, um, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna differentiate those in the, in the next video. So two separate videos for the problems, okay? And as always, if you have um, any questions or if you're not sure about something, by the time you watch this video, just drop a comment and then I'll get back to you, okay? All right, so let's get this show on the road. Okay, so if you watched my previous videos on, on, on how to create a function in MATLAB, you may have to, um, just because I'm gonna be basically creating a function from every derivative problem that I have here and then take the derivative of that function problem, okay? So this is gonna make sense in just, in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my command window and then I'm gonna say sims x and then this is pretty much gonna tell MATLAB to treat x as a variable every time it sees it, okay? And then from here, we're doing the first problem. So I've got f of x equals x raised to the fifth power and then I'm gonna create a function out of this. So remember, we're gonna do y equals inline and then open parentheses, single quotation marks, and then we have x raised to the fifth power, close quotation, and then comma, and then define your variable here, which is x, close parentheses, and then hit enter, and then if you kind of compare, you have your, you have your function here. So all we have to do here is um, take the derivative of our function. So I'm gonna do differentiate, which stands for differentiating the derivatives. And then my function is y of x. So y of x equals x raised to the fifth power. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do y of x, and then we're differentiating with respect to x, okay? And you could, you could kind of do this calculation, this derivative inside of your head. So it's pretty much gonna be five x raised to the fourth power. So I'm just doing this, you know, just to get the ball rolling, okay? And then as you can see, I've got five x raised to the fourth power, okay? All right, so the next problem, so that takes care of the, that takes care of the first problem. So the next one is going to be, and then I like to have a clean workstation, so I'm gonna clear everything here and then start over. So, so the second problem is y equals six x cubed minus nine x plus four. So I'm gonna do sims x, and then I have y equals, so I'm gonna say y equals, inline open parentheses and then i'm going to type in my expression here and you have to be careful here just make sure that you're typing your, your expression correctly into matlab in terms of the syntax okay so y equals inline open parentheses single quotation and then we're going to do i'm going to open another parentheses and then do six times x cubed okay close parentheses minus open parentheses and then nine times x and then plus four, and then let's see. So that takes care of the entire expression, and then close quotation marks, comma, and then we're differentiating with respect to x, okay? And if I press enter, you can kind of compare your expression to the one that you're given in your problem, and everything seems to be good, perfect. And then I'm gonna do differentiate with respect to y of x because y of x here is, is is my function so i'm going to differentiate y of x with respect to x so comma x is pretty much going to tell matlab to differentiate with respect to that variable and then we already defined x here so it knows that it's a variable okay so that that should give us 18x squared minus 9 okay and that does make sense you could kind of do this problem also in your head all right so that takes care of the second problem 
And then the third problem, you have f of x equals x times 3x squared minus 9. I mean, I guess if you want, you can distribute that x into your into your terms, and then you're, you're going to have like 3x cubed minus 9x, but I'm just going to do it as I'm given, so I'm not going to really mess with it. All right, so same thing. I'm going to clear everything and start over. So I have sims x, which is going to tell MATLAB to treat x as a variable. And then I have f equals, so f of x, f equals inline, and then open parentheses, single quotation. And then I'm going to have x times open parentheses, and then it's going to be 3 times x squared minus 9 and then close parentheses just make sure everything looks good in terms of writing your expression correctly and it does look good to me all right close quotation and then we're different and then we're, your variable is going to be x close parentheses hit enter and then your expression f of x should match up with the one that you're given in the problem so x times 3 times x squared minus 9 perfect and then i'm going to do diff so we're going to differentiate this problem, and then our, our function is f of x. So I'm going to do differentiate f of x with respect to x, close parentheses, hit enter, and then we have 9x squared minus 9. Again, you can kind of do this problem in your head, and then the answer does make sense. Okay? All right, so two more problems to go. That takes care of the third problem. So the fourth problem is not difficult. It's just a quotient rule problem. But in terms of writing this into MATLAB, you have to be super careful of your of your syntax. Just make sure that you're using parentheses and everything, you know, kind of makes sense. All right, so clear CLC, clear all. And then this time my variable is a Y, is not an X. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to do Sims Y this time instead of doing X. Hit enter, and then this is going to tell MATLAB to treat everything as a, as a, treat y as a variable, okay? And then I'm going to do y equals, so it's actually going to be f, so because we have f of y. So f equals um, inline, and then open parentheses, and then single quotation, and then let's make sure we're, we're writing this expression correctly. So I'm going to open another parentheses here. And then I'm going to say y raised to the fifth power, okay, minus open parentheses, five times y raised to the power of third power. So that's going to be um, y cubed. And then close parentheses plus open parentheses, two times y, okay. And the, the, I'm writing this a bit excessive. You know, I probably shouldn't have used this, this many parentheses, but I just like to keep everything clean here. So y to the fifth minus five times y cubed plus two y. So that looks good to me. And then I'm gonna close the first parentheses. Just gonna make sure that this looks good. It does look good to me. All right. And then this is gonna be uh, all over y cubed. So I'm gonna have y cubed, close parentheses, and then Actually, I should move this and put it here. Okay. Or maybe just leave it here. I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. The goal here is just to make sure your problem is, is matching up with what you're given. And then single quotation. And then this time we're differentiating with respect to y. And then let's compare and see that our problem is matching up with what we're given. So we have f of y equals um, y to the fifth power minus um, 5y cubed, perfect, plus 2 times y all over y cubed. Okay, we're on a roll. All right, so I'm going to do differentiate um, with respect to f of y, because we're differentiating y here, and then it's going to we're differentiating f of y and then we're differentiating with respect to y okay so with respect to y close that and then that's going to be our expression using the quotient rule okay and one other cool feature that i want to show you guys is this this expression what you see here is probably not simplified so you could do collect you could use the collect collect function in matlab and then open parentheses answer, which is what you're given right here. 
and that's gonna that's gonna simplify your answer further it's gonna collect all the like terms so if we do that we're gonna be left with that expression and then again you could make this look slightly prettier you could do pretty and then you could do answer and then take a look at that MATLAB just makes it look slightly nicer all right so We've got one more problem to go, and then I'm already over 10 minutes, which is fine. All right, so one more problem to go, and then we're gonna we're gonna cut it off here, and then go for the next video. All right, so CLC clear all, so that that's gonna give us a brand new workstation, and then we're gonna do f of x equals tangent times cosine of x. So I can already see a chain rule in there. All right, so I'm gonna do. Let's see, I'm going to do sims, and then I'm going to do x, so that's going to treat x as a variable in MATLAB, and then I'm going to do f equals inline, open parentheses, and then single quotation, and then I'm going to start um, typing my problem. So I've, got, so I've got the tangent of cosine of x, okay? And then I'm just going to make sure that this is looking good. And then close parentheses, all right, tangent of cosine of x, and then one, just to be safe, tangent times cosine of x. Okay, perfect, and we're defining x to be our variable here, and then press enter, so you got f of x equals tangent times cosine of x, perfect. And then we're going to say diff, open parentheses and then we're going to differentiate this with respect to x and then our function is going to be f of x so we're going to differentiate f of x that's going to be our function right here and then we're differentiating this with respect to x okay close parentheses and then let's see what happened it probably didn't like that multiplication so i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy this go here paste and then I'm going to get rid of that, that multiplication sign. And then let's see, let's see if it's going to like it this time. And then if I do diff f of x, and then with respect to x, and then if I hit enter, there, that's your answer right there. And then you could probably do collect answer just to make sure that there is nothing to be simplified and there isn't so that's gonna be your final answer just be super careful with the MATLAB syntax make sure that you're writing your problems exactly as it is given to you because that can be super easy to miss in MATLAB okay and I'm gonna cut it off right here I think we covered pretty much everything and then I'll see you guys in the next video